new Blanime podcast. I did have a really, really random question I wanted to ask you. Mm-hmm. Um, do you recall, recall, like, growing up that, like, when your, with your parents, did they ever lie to you about some shit that you realized as an adult was a fucking complete lie? Uh, as an adult now? I mean, I feel like there's stuff that, like, throughout the years, I'm like, damn, that was not... That was real. That yeah, that wasn't true. Like not like some kitty shit, like Santa Claus and shit like that, but like actual real life shit. So the reason why I asked that is because I was like in my head and just think about parent shit now that I'm a parent shit. So <laughs> I thought about like the shit that my mom used to lie to me about that was not fucking true. So did you like growing up, like when like let's say you're in the back seat and like you remember in the, you remember back in the day like the Game Boy didn't have like a backlight, so you could only play that whole if you, if you had if you had a well lit area. Right. Yeah. So I remember like growing up that my mom told me like if you if I was in the backseat of the car and I and I touched a little light at the top of the car that had the light shining, she told mm-hmm. me that was against the law for the light to be on while you were driving. Okay, so I've been told that, but I just recently found out, and I say recently, like this year, like maybe in the last couple months, that that's not illegal. I did not know that though. But why I was do they lie yeah, like that? Used to tell me that. Why? Why were they always lying like that? Like that? It, it, <laughs> they could have just easily been like, "Hey, I don't want this light on." I wonder if that's like some shit. Like, I want to say Mandela effect, but like. <laughs> A lot of people say that, so I'm like, at what point? Who who spread this false narrative? Who who made this? Or rumor maybe they up? thought it was the truth, and then we just got the brunt of the lie too from right. trickle down lies. I bet to this day, if I told my mama that, she probably wouldn't believe me. Because I've always been told like you cannot ride around with that. Like they'll pull you over, and I'm like, yeah, I, and I, I never know. understood that either. Because I'm like, why would they pull me over for me having the light on? Yeah, in the car. I, I I was just thinking about shit like that. I was like, that was some bullshit. And then also, like, like growing up, like, why was like using the word lie like a cuss word? Yes, I had to say fib or story. Oh, yeah, they weren't telling the truth, or they were telling a fib, or <laughs> yeah, like, I couldn't say lie. I couldn't say shut up either. <laughs> I could say be quiet, but like I wasn't allowed to actually say like shut up. Yeah. I'm like, wow, why not? I'm like, I know it's, I guess it is a little rude, but get my point across more than be quiet. I'm talking to my brother, like, I want to say be quiet. Yeah, but like, using, like, lie, like, using, like, as a cuss, I'm like, what, like, I, I get, of course, like, if I call, like, if I call my mom a liar or some shit, like, I probably get my ass slapped for that, but, like, what if I was talking about, you know, a movie, and I say, oh, yeah, he lied to the other character, like, why was that so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I never I don't know what what was up with that. I thought that was just like my family. I didn't know that that was something that like other people Yeah. Yeah, cuz I could not say lie. I had to say or liar. I had to say yeah. fib, fibber or telling the story. I could not I was they not acted like that to was say. damn near like you were saying fuck or shit yeah. or something like. Mhm. Yeah. So I I just that I had that <laughs> thought this week and I was like I wonder if Nate went through the same shit I went through growing up like that was, why are parents like this? <laughs> and I'm sure some more shit that they lied to us about that I can't think of right now. Um, but, most definitely. But that that fucking back seat light shit that 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 irked my nerves. I'm like that wasn't even a thing. I I really want to know who started that lie. I should ask my mom. Like, why'd you tell me this? Be like, yeah, I'm gonna ask my mom if she know. I'm gonna be like, mom, you know that's not illegal. I'm just gonna see what she say. Cause I really feel like to this day, if I asked her, she gonna be like, yes, it is. <laughs> who told you what? <laughs> who said it? Like, who told you that this was illegal and that you could get a ticket or whatever? I can't remember what the. I think they did say like a ticket or something. Yeah, like you, like yeah, it's against the law. Like you get a ticket to that shit. I'm like, no. Right. And I always, and because I, I thought about that. Honestly, that thought has crossed my mind quite a few times because I've had that light on, the dome light on, and rode past the police. And I'm like, maybe pull over. 
Not they're supposed to pull me over for this. They they don't give a fuck about your <laughs> your light. They don't give a fuck. Don't give a damn. Yeah, I'm like, at the all. police don't give a fuck about your light being on in the car. The shit that they told us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now if they got if you got the light on, they see your ass is black in there. They might pull your ass over, but that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> you didn't pull over being yeah. black when I yes. the light is on. Yes, yo, that's kind of funny. I um, I think about it. I don't know if I've ever told this on the pod. I've no, I've told people this. Scooby Doo is like my favorite cartoon growing up. Love really? Scooby Doo. Love when I say love Scooby Doo, like. This is interesting. I think I had a pair of shoes. I had backpack shirts. Like, lo- absolutely love Scooby Doo. Anytime Scooby Doo was on, I was watching it. My grandpa, because I grew up with my great grandparents, so mm-hmm. they, my grandpa hated Scooby Doo, despised Scooby Doo, because he said that animals should not talk. So he liked uh. Tom and Jerry. He'd be like, "You can watch Tom and Jerry," but he he let me, of course, he let me watch Scooby Doo, but like he was not fond of it because he said that animals shouldn't talk. And I was like, "But it's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. What are you talking about? What are you say?" I was like, "I it must be some old school shit," because he like when I would be watching Scooby Doo, they go like go in the other like. Well, shit! I'd hate for him to have seen Looney Tunes on TV. That all them niggas talk. And, and, but that's the thing. I'm like, Luna, he didn't really care. I think he liked Bugs Bunny, I th- which is odd. But I think he liked Bugs Bunny, but he didn't really care for like the other stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, but like I said, when it came to Scooby Doo, he hated that show. Hated it. I never, to this day, I mean, my grandfather's been dead for a long time mm-hmm. now. So I, but I never knew why he, what his reasoning was because animals shouldn't talk, but I just didn't know like why that was such a big deal. Like that he loved Tom and Jerry though. I'm like, I want to see them chasing each other this whole damn side note. Show. Do you remember when they actually came out with a movie like when we were kids and they actually talked in that movie? Tom and Jerry. No. Tom and Jerry came out with a movie like way, way, way back. Like we were probably it was probably still the nineties. It was either nineties or early two thousands. They came out with a movie and them niggas were talking in that. And they're like they they were both like you can talk and they like they like it, it, it was weird like hearing their voices and everything so um that, they, that, i'm definitely showing my age on this shit but yeah there's there's an actual tom and jerry movie where they actually are speaking and shit so well my grandfather just flipped over in his grave because <laughs> <laughs> he if he knew that i'm sure it wasn't that before he passed away because well, it might have been. We just didn't know about it because he would have flipped all type of shit. Let me be a nigga and look up when this movie came out. Let me see. Tom and Jerry movie. This should be he fairly easy. He would have flipped all types of shit. Tom Seriously. and Jerry movie. Let me see. What year did this whole come out? Wait, was it? No, nah, it couldn't have been this this early. It had to have been later than this. The, fir- the first one says uh, 1992. No, nah, it has to be one after this. Let me see. Tom and Jerry Damn, they had a lot of movies. There, side note, this says that there's a Tom and Jerry movie coming out in 2021. That's weird. Um, I know kids still watch Tom and Jerry. Facts. I feel like nobody asked They don't know what the fuck Tom and Jerry is. <laughs> nobody asked that. Oh, shit. This is weird. It's like CGI, it looks like. Weird. I hope they slander it like uh, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like that kind of CGI. It's like they they're still cartoons, but it's CGI. It's not like Sonic. <laughs> Damn, did this whole come out in ninety two? And I just saw it later on in life, maybe. But they I remember they actually let me see if they have voices on here. They actually were speaking. Voice cast. Yep. Yep, that was it then. Yeah. Dana Hill is Jerry, Richard Kind is Tom. That's weird. But yeah, I, I definitely remember seeing them talking and moving. I was like, bro, this is weird. I did not know that. Oh my grandfather would yeah, that was something that was I'm glad he never found out. Rest he in peace, grandpa. Living. He 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 <laughs> mad as hell right now. He oh my God. That's strange. But yeah. yeah, uh no, I'm sorry now. I just had I had to ask you that because I, I really just <laughs> think about this. I was like, I really want to talk to somebody about this. It's fine. Mm. That's interesting. That is funny though. Nothing I never thought about. Like Yeah. The but yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, ninety-eight of the Blender May podcast. Um, getting on down there. Um, 
uh, as you as usual, you know, welcome and I'm unbothered Mike and um I'm with uh one day I'm gonna have your name before the show starts. What you what name a reborn character? I Let me be, give you a name. I was just gonna say uh I could be Go Goku uh Nera or I could be Yamanato. Yamanato, so, there we go. Either or the Wait, it was a, is a Yamamoto on the show? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, y- Yamanato. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm with that one, Yamanato. Um, and we back for another week and everything. Um, Chelsea. Yes, we recording two days later than we usually do, but it's okay. Uh, Nate, side note, I didn't realize well, we were supposed to record on Friday, but you, I didn't realize until we were about to record. I'm like, damn, it's Friday the thirteenth. I know that's actually my favorite day. I love Friday the. 13th. You know, it's the only Friday the thirteenth of 2020. I knew this year was weird. Mm-hmm. That was the only one. Don't we usually day. get like two of them holes in a year? Yeah, at least two. You know, my birthday falls on Friday the thirteenth every few years. So oh, I, yeah. I, I love, yeah. So I love Friday the thirteenth. Thirteenth, yeah. my favorite number. Spooky name. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Your hands. <too. laughs> Yeah, so I was like, damn, that's weird. We didn't record on Friday the thirteenth, but it's probably we probably would have fucked up or something if it was the thirteenth. <laughs> some some, been some crazy. weird shit would have happened. Um yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, we back, we back. Uh two more episodes left and everything. Um I did a few little things. I did want to say, yeah, like I said, if you want to send a voice memo for episode one hundred, you are more than welcome to email it to us at Mike and Nate at Planet Mate Podcast or if you don't know how to do a voice memo and email it. Just DM me in uh, on Instagram, and um, I'll I'll walk you through it. But it's fairly easy. Just go to the voice memo app on your phone, hit share, then email that bad boy. So it should be fairly simple. Um, but only if you want to. You don't have to. This is I'm not pressing. I'm no not pressing pressure. It. We did get one. Uh, Scuba Steve and uh, Skyler sent us one. Um. So shout out to them. I'm very excited to hear uh, what Skyler has to say. Uh, this is gonna be exciting. Not, not so much Steve, but more mainly, mainly Skyler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> we definitely still need to be on Scuba Steve and Skyler. We're still waiting for the invite on the show so. for our invite for the pod. Yes, yes. Just waiting. Just just say the word and, and we'll we'll make it happen. So yeah. Thing. Yeah. Um, also, I did want to shout out uh, Lexa Stampede. Um, she did a, a live the other day and I just randomly clicked on to see what she was talking about in the live and she saw we were in there and she shouted us out. She told everybody to go listen to us and uh, Aww, to, to listen so to uh, the episode that she's on. I think it's 66. So, yeah. Well, yeah. That was yeah, a long time ago. I didn't realize like in the we, middle of quarantine. Uh, yeah, it was like damn near the very beginning of quarantine. I think it was March when we talked to uh, Lex. So, yeah. So, shout out to Lex. That's, that's, that's my dog. Um, yeah. She been going crazy on her cosplay. Yeah, that Spe- Vegeta one is still. Speaking of Vegeta cosplay, Lex, um, Michaela wore her first uh, Vegeta onesie this week, and um, so proud. I'm getting her started early. So proud! I loved it. Shout out to Rochelle and Dre for that. Facts. But they got that at the baby shower. They brought that at the baby shower. Yeah, they actually got us a freezer, freezer one too. I have no idea where it is. I have to find it, but I do want to put her in the freezer one too because she is a, a super villain. Um, yeah, Majin, Bye. Majin, Michaela. She is. Oh, it was so cute, y'all. Oh my gosh! And he sent it to me. I was like, "This I shit." Knew you were proud, Auntie. I was. I was very proud. I was like, "Look at this. This just." Saying suit, I'm like, you, you just she's funny. Can't do it. She's funny. Here, I was saying Gallic Gun, and she started laughing and shit. I was like, oh yeah, you 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 about to really be with the shit too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Shout out to my baby who's still awake right now. Um. Yes. Luckily, Jennifer don't got work tomorrow, so. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I did want to shout out Lex. Uh, also, shout out Laura. Um. Uh, I saw she had did some stuff in the retro room uh, recently, so shout out to Laura Keong from the retro room Dallas. Yes. Uh, but I think this is all I got for you know quick shout out and everything for people. Shout out to to the Patreon listeners, aka the Soul Society. Um, <laughs> now you gonna let the Patreon listeners be the part be the Soul Society? 
I ain't saying nothing. All right, you know what? I ain't saying that. I, I mean, I'm not opposed to your, the soul society. Your lack of saying stuff is upsetting me. I, well, I barely be in the in the Discord, so I, I'm not opposed to the soul society. All right, our Patreon. So you know Komodo? Yes, my Komodo. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I I am the head captain of our Soul Society Patreon Discord group. So, yes, and I'm I'm here to get my niggas together. <laughs> Who who's Ichigo? Who's Ichigo? I don't think we, we got, got so much plot. I don't think we, don't think we got an Ichigo. <laughs> Oh, we don't have one in there. No, I don't think we That's got an Ichigo. Yet. We should we should. It might be Dre. Them. It might be Dre. Dre might be Ichigo. I'm I'm yeah. I might let Dre be Ichigo if I'm head captain. Yeah, we're gonna work it out. I'm gonna have to get everybody their title. Yes, yes. I'm gonna have my thirteen court guard, guard, court squad, guard squad captains and shit. But uh, shout out to everybody in the Patreon group. Um, uh, they keep the lights on. Um, <laughs> no, really, no facts. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's get to current watches, man. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna let you. We'll we'll go back and forth because I, I I got two more to you. I'll let you. Finish yours, and then I'll do my last two. So let's start with you in in your journey in your current one that you're enjoying the most right now. Reborn. So yes, I am on episode ninety three. Reborn. Um, what is going on now? So how can I explain it? So basically, I'm still in the future art. Mm -hmm. Um, we are at now. Uh, sooner was basically able to get all of his guardians of the Vongola rings together. So that, that's that been the biggest thing Reborn told them when they first traveled uh, forward in time to defeat the uh, villain in this arc. Like he had to get the Vongola guardians back together and they could probably win. He was like, if you can't get them back together, if any of them are hurt, we fucked. Like, you know, it is what it is. So he was actually able to get the last two together. Um, so the last thing I watched, there was a, a fight, Chrome. So people who watch Reborn, uh, Chrome or Mokuro slash Mokuro, because they're the same person. Y'all know how that goes. Um, they fought, uh, what's, his, God damn, what's his name? Is it Gein? He had a bob and a bang. So y'all know who I'm yeah. talking about. Uh, they beat, uh, <laughs> beat him with Chrome and Chrome is hemmed up in the hospital. Now, one thing I say about Reborn, them niggas get hurt. Like, when they get into a fight, they really be making sure that they bandage, bandage them niggas up. They be having band-aids. They be wrapped up in motherfucking casts. They be having IVs in, oxygen tanks. Like, when poor Lambo, somebody had tweeted me. I can't even think of who it was now. It, it, whoever, it, 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 when you hear this, just tweet me. And I'll say your name next time because I don't really feel like going back through my mentions. He was talking about how he was like, man, I need Lambo to get out of ICU. I'm like, my nigga, like, yes, bro. Like, these niggas be him. Up. They be in ICU for days. They be in the hospital. They be unconscious. They be, like, fucking toe down. When they get their ass whooped, even if they just train it, if they, you know, hit the ground kind of hard, the next scene, they going to have a Band-Aid on their face. They don't play. Like, they really be showing how they be getting their ass whooped. But um, Suna is really like stepping up. I'm really like starting to like his character growth. Like I'm so happy I'm at this point because like he's he's really like manning up and like making decisions. Y'all know I love Reborn. Um, also in this last couple episodes, the y'all know the Arcoblanos, which are like Reborn and shit. Um, they I don't know what's going on with them exactly. I know the the villains of this arc basically want to get the Vongola rings. They have the their family rings and then they want to get the Arcoblongos pacifiers or whatever. And I guess that make them like those powerful people in the world. Um but when Reborn was training training Yamamoto in the shadows, he was an adult. He's still a fucking baby. So I know they're gonna have to touch base. I, and I'm starting to figure that out as well because earlier in the arc um old girl she's like half Arcoblano. i don't know how she could be half they're gonna have to touch base on that but uh canelo i guess was her lover 
and they show Carnello as an adult, but I'm like, bro, it was a fucking baby. He was a baby, like. So it's 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 some some other shit mixed in the sauce with the uh, Arcablanos and them being babies, or why they're babies because at some point they were actually adults, and I don't know when they got this power, they became babies. I don't know. They're gonna have to touch base on it, but uh, the the villains they figured out not everybody but they're starting a couple of them kind of know that they have a mole in they camp so that's gonna hit the fan as well this arc is really good and they say this is the best arc of the show but it's, it's definitely like very enjoyable i like the training that they do um i just i i'm really enjoying reborn so that's where i'm at with that y'all so what, what episode number are you on Episode number? Mm-hmm. They're like, just I, I know you probably don't know the exact one, but like, what 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 number do you think you're on? Like range ninety, so in ninety and hundred. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm like 90, 93, 94. Oh, so I'm almost half because it's like two hundred episodes. Two hundred and three so episodes. Mm-hmm. So I'm almost halfway through. So I I, I do want to confess that I did actually look into starting Reborn this week, but I was looking, I was like, damn, uh, this is. This anime has been out for a while. Like, you know, I wanted to see if I can find a dub just so I can get it started. And I don't I, think it has a dub. It doesn't. There actually is a change.org petition for them to make a dub of this anime. Uh, not that them shits ever work, but there is one out there. And they don't have enough. Wow. They only have 500 signatures for their goal oh, of 1,000. Yeah, so I did actually look that up and I was looking for it. I was like, damn, why, why, why can't I find a dub yeah. of this? Um, but yeah, I, I did. I did try to start it, but I think I got caught up in some other shit. Cause I like Cause to you like gotta focus. I like to like start it and like maybe have it on in the background. Like I hear some shit. Right, like, so oh, you can okay. do other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but I'm gonna just really have to start it and sub and everything. So, so I can. And see. again, fair warning: the first twenty. 22, 23 episodes, you going to be like, bro, what the fuck is really going on? It is so slice of life, goofy as fuck, sooner crying, like, you just like, what the fuck is going on? But you, you always, from day one, you can tell Reborn a real nigga. That's, that's no cat. Mm. Like, that nigga comes off. He honestly, first of all, I feel like the show is underrated in itself. Mm. I feel like Reborn is a very underrated sensei because He's one of the only senseis I've seen in shonen where that's just like 100% raw. Like, you know, a lot of senseis, like, they they might tell them mm-hmm. part of the truth, but they're kind of like, but you can do it. Reborn will be like, no, you can't. Mm. And what you gonna do about it? Like, you what you, how you gonna make, like, he will literally be like, there's been times where he was like, no, I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it. Damn. And be flat out like I I didn't think he was, but now that he has proven me wrong, okay, cool, and then I can go from here. He is very like raw with it. I really, really, that I really, I will die on that hill. Reborn is one of he is probably the most underrated sensei because people don't even talk about the show in general, but he's definitely an underrated sensei. Mm. So reborn or Genkai. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's fucking strong. See, Reborn. I still haven't seen all of Reborn's powers. Okay. Like honestly, so still they pending. haven't even touched because uh, so he's not allowed to fight the battles of or or even help out outside of giving like strategy or ideas. I don't know. I forgot if he said that's just like some type of pact or or if they had like it's like a contract between the Arcoblanos and the uh, mafia families. But or or maybe just personally him with the Vongola family, he is not allowed to step in and like actually physically fight in any battles. But he can be a, he gives aid as far as like giving like a point like, do, you know, yeah. you can do this. No, don't do this. I see this going on. So. I, nobody really knows Reborn's true power. So if we were basing it off of that, then Genkai. But the shit that he be giving them niggas, the, the fucking game he be putting these niggas on, and just how he trains them too. Like, I, like granted, Genkai, you know, she 
she was fucking you you skate up this nigga reborn yeah. he's trained all, except i think maybe gokadera he definitely uh been training yamamoto he's trained sooner and he like he he just i don't know i you have to watch it yeah. like i'm gonna start it i'm gonna start it soon i promise I think you, I really think you like it because even some of the fight scenes, like they have some pretty, pretty good fight scenes. And another thing, because I was arguing, well, I wasn't arguing with Darrell, but this is something he stands on. Yamamoto is one of the best swordsmen in anime. But since the. Oh, this is your step guy? is nice. This, the step huh? guy, uh, the, one of the step guys? Yeah. Yeah. Um, He thinks, he says that he feels like Yamamoto is one of the best swordsmen in anime. But he's very underrated. That nigga is not like the the technique that his dad taught him. Nah, that nigga he. I haven't even gotten to the point where I've seen his full potential. I've seen him in a battle. He held his own against a pretty solid opponent, but I haven't even seen all of him. I have to see more. But see, I mean, like, I haven't watched One Piece either, so, like, I don't really know how Zoro... Zoro he didn't man. say, like, he was being Zoro, but he just said that he feels like he is a very underrated swordsman, like, straight swordsman, like, not no extra powers, not no, but just the actual swordsman. Zoro's cold without extra powers. That nigga there... That nigga fights with three swords, and he's cold, all three of them bitches, like... See, well, he didn't say he was better than Zoro, but I'm just, he just said that Yamamoto is an underrated, underrated swordsman. He feels like he's one of the best ones in anime. So I was like, I mean, I feel like the nigga probably better than Sasuke. Cause I don't think Sasuke is uh, he's like not a, a real true swordsman. swordsman. No, he's but not. you know, they, they have him on the list. He's not. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll square with anybody that thinks that he is. He's not. Sasuke. The swordsman conversation. He until he he not even the best swordsman on the fucking show. So um then the killer B beat his bitch ass <laughs> to the white meat and, and, and sent him on his way. So no. No. <laughs> don't talk to me about Sasuke and his fucking weak ass sword. I, you know, I do not I don't care about Sasuke at all anyway. But but like people actually like when um Cause I was actually that. Remember that day I told you that Darrell called me with his homeboy. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Argue, They had like tried to get me to like yeah. I guess pick, be the pick third. Mm, yeah, the deciding. That goal. was one that they was looking up swordsmen because I want to say I forgot what I told. Oh, I was telling you the the argument stemmed off of with it was Kenshin and who was I can't remember who he said. Was, it was it Afro? I forgot who the argument they they had who was the better swordsman. It was like Kenshin and somebody and other boy Odu said the other person and he was like this nobody he was like this nigga's not beating Kenshin. Like you wild. Okay. But I can't remember who the other person was now. Was it um, was it Afro or was it it might have been Zoro. It wasn't even Afro. Was it Zoro? I don't know if it was to ask him and get, and get back to you because I, I can't remember who it was no you know what i think it was i think he said kenshin and sasuke now i'm thinking about it oh, he was like bro this brother. nigga is not <laughs> like what did you say let me i'm just gonna do a question thing on ig just like who's the best anime source man i'm just asking yeah. next is gonna be like zoro F facts i'm putting no powers no no extra superpowers taking into account who's the best source man but yeah, it's like um, you probably get Kenshin. I probably I I could see Kenshin Zoro like being like the most peak. Um, cause they they even looked up like um a, a list of swordsmen. Like Levi was on there. I can't remember. I think Yamamoto mm -hmm. was on there at some point. Um, Zoro. They had a lot of them. List had Sasuke, and uh, and he was fairly high up. Oh, sorry, right I was Whatever. I don't want to hear Sasuke. I don't want to hear Sasuke's name before Killer B. Cause, yeah, no, stop it. Sasuke got his ass beat. Sasuke only really truly got probably about two or three dubs in that whole series. But well, that's if a we that's a conversation for another day. Um, and some of those dubs had an asterisk next to it. So, um, yeah. 
But yeah, I I I I like that you're really enjoying this reborn series because I I feel like I put it on a long time ago and I didn't like it and I and I cut it off. But that was like probably over ten years ago, so I'm gonna have to re really revisit it and everything. Um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it, Mikey. Yeah. Um, let me see. I, I guess you want me to go. You done or you want me to go? Yeah, you go. Nick. Let me see what what whatever. Else. Let's see what I'm watching here. All right, Ben. So yeah, let me. So um. I'm gonna I'm gonna save Jujitsu Kaisen talk for another week since Nate Nate hasn't seen this week. She we, we were talking before, so she said she's trying to go two episodes at a time. So we'll revisit Jujitsu Kaisen next week. Although I will say this this episode this week was amazing. So Nate, you're really gonna you're really gonna enjoy this episode this week, and more than likely you'll really enjoy episode next week. So, but this episode this week nuts. There's hell action in this episode. We okay. we got to see why Satoru is that nigga. Like, I mm, the way he got out that car, I knew whoever was fucking with him was gonna get they ass. Remember, like when whenever um the 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 demon dude was in the in the little coffee shop or whatever, resting, resting uh, and burnt everybody in the restaurant, burned everybody mm-hmm. up. Remember when he was like, "How many uh Sakuna fingers do you think I am? How strong I am?" And he was like, "Probably about eight. Yeah. Yeah. So now, why well, mind you, you know how strong this nigga Sukuna is, and eight fingers is strong as fuck. But all I say is Satoru is that nigga, and you will find out why he's that nigga. Like, but they they really expanded upon like the power, the power system in Jujutsu Kaisen, and um, just like how how Satoru is like the best of them all. Like you you'll see his technique and. Actually, I'm not gonna give you that. That's a spoiler. I'm not gonna give you that. But you, you I can't wait till you watch it next week. That's all I'll say, and we'll we'll talk about it again oh, on Lord, 99. I was really, I really don't want to have to watch that tonight. I would, no, I'm really trying it. to save give it. myself two. Save it. You okay. good? You good? Save it. You you'll be fine. Okay. Um, okay. I will. I think yeah. Fr- Fridays, yeah. We're, we're two days past Friday, so if you haven't seen no spoilers on the timeline, you good. So um, I've been not even really on Twitter like that just to avoid, you yeah. know. Yeah. But Satoru's that nigga, and, and and undisputed that nigga of that series. So, um, <laughs> easily, mm-hmm. I knew he. You just don't know. I had a feeling. I was like, this nigga got to be real as fuck. And when he got out the car and told him to keep going, I was like, okay, he feels that somebody's there. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if they showed anything at the very end of the episode, like a preview of the next episode, because I remember. I don't think they did from from okay, what I remember last did. week. Maybe I did see. I wouldn't say a spoiler, but I seen. Maybe it was on the timeline. I seen that he had took his thing off his mm, eyes. Yes. He had like blue eyes. So I was like, I oh, okay, so you did see that. That's what I was gonna say. Like they showed his his whole face. Yeah, yeah, I seen that, and I was like, okay, it's not burnt up or anything, because that's kind of what I thought. Like maybe he's covering it up because some fucked up. But yeah. No, he's coming there for a reason, but it's not for the, the, his shit being fucked up at all. Yeah, I can't wait. It's oh, kind of like so wait. you know, like when 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 Kimpachi took his fucking eye patch off and that nigga like goes crazy. Yeah, it's, it's like, like that. shit. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's literally just like that. <laughs> hey, he he's he's saving other niggas by keeping his eyes concealed. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Like I said, I'm, y'all, I've just been doing every two weeks just because the show is so good. If I don't, it, I will stop. Not necessarily stop watching it, but I will get to a point where I'm like, I need to binge this. So for me, I have to watch it every two weeks so I can get a couple, at least two episodes. Give so you a good 40 minutes, you know, instead of that 20, yes. that 20 minutes. Yeah. I ain't, mad. I ain't mad at that. But I like this show so much that I'm not fucking waiting. Like I'm, this is one of this is like when we were watching. What were we watching last year? When we were watching um, Attack on Titan. Yeah, exactly. You already knew. When we was watching Attack on Titan, and I like I literally had to see it every week. This is just like that for me. So, and it ate me up on ALT. That's the only reason I'm doing this now. I'm like, you know what? Let me try to stack up like two episodes so that way I can just watch because I'm I'm I'm, I'm still stand I'm standing on that hill right now and yet and still. Far as new series, because some people was like the year ain't up. Blah, blah, blah. I'll say new series, new anime series. So not something that has multiple seasons or a new season coming out. I'm talking about one that's dropped this year. Mm-hmm. This is their first time dropping the uh, the series. Jujutsu Kaisen got to blow. It's blowing niggas out the water. I ain't I ain't even watched Facts. a whole bunch of new shit this year. 
it's easily to me has to be the anime of the year. I was gonna say pump your brakes, but with you explaining it like that, like new series, I'm not mad at that. Cause a uh, reason why I was saying pump your brakes last week was because I'm like, well, we still got AOT coming next month. Right. So we still we gonna have like probably about three episodes of AOT before the year's up with something like that. So mm-hmm. I was like, Yeah, let me let's let's hold off. But no, nah, if you're if you're saying just completely new series, like new drop this year, it's damn near my favorite one this year. Yeah. I yeah, can't yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we've we've seen anything. That it's I've better been. than Tower of God to me right now. Tower of God was good. No, Tower of God was definitely good, but it was definitely, uh, you know, well, not. I'm not gonna say it was rushed, but like you know, t- we we had 13 episodes of Tower of God. We're getting 24 Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm-hmm. So, it's. I think it was episode seven this past week. I think. Um. So mm-hmm. we'll probably be somewhere around. What? Let's see. It's two more weeks in November. So yeah, we'll probably yeah, be like six weeks, what, like third episode. Seven. We'll probably be like thirteen or fourteen by the time the year's up with some something like that. Yeah, so we'll be a little over half by the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you, I don't like. I said new series. I'm not new mad at that. Series. I'm not mad at that at all. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, before the years over, I'm gonna binge Fire Force. Speaking of series that were in this year and everything, so, so Fire Force season two. Um, I need to finish five for it. Yeah. So, all right, back to you. So, so, I, I, you you see what I got on today, right? I know. I was looking at the. You, you see, you, you see, you see the Ichigo drip I got on right now. Like, so I was looking at that because at first I was like, couldn't see all the white part, and mm. I seen the hair, and I was like, that ain't Minato, and I was like, that no, got to be Ichigo. I'm like, not wearing no Minato. I'm not buying <laughs> any more Naruto clothing ever again. So. Um, right. oh, just, I'm just tired. Well, I got an Akashi pop socket. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I, I got to a point. So, Nay, I, side note, I did go to the parks mall this weekend just because I was killing some time. Um, and I was like, you know what? I deserve a new anime shirt. And I went to Spencer's. I went to um, Hot Topic. I went to Think. Um. And what well, Spencer's Hot Topic, Think Geek, and uh, Journeys? No, I, nah, I did go in Journeys, but that's not, that's not it. I think it was one more place. Uh, anyway, I went through all of those and, and finally I landed at Spencer's and, and saw this shirt because none of my other, oh, Box and Lunch, that was other, that was other store. Um, but all of the fucking stores have like mad my hero shit and mad naruto shit and i'm like i don't want any of this <laughs> give me something yeah. else so i landed that, that'd be good. Mm. yeah so spencer's did have a uu shirt and they did have a bleach shirt and i went ahead and went with the ichigo um because i'm repping for the soul society and um and hopefully what you're about to tell me is that you finished bleach but i ain't finished it but I am uh, Rap Snacks. I'm crying. This episode um, is brought to you by Rap Snacks. With the- Uriya, uh, Uriu, uh just got stabbed. So. Um, oh, okay. I know exactly where you are. Okay. Okay. And so now they coming like after his friends and shit. And so um, where I ended at was uh, Ichigo went. Tots- Totsuki found Ichigo. And was like, yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of, uh, I can't think of any names. But she's like, I can't get a hold of them. And she was like, I'm just kind of nervous because some shit happened yesterday. And he was like, I don't happen. So he went to go where they were that night before. And he found them unconscious. And the dude he beat up was was there. And he was like, somebody told me to do this and blah, blah, blah. And so after all of that, the dude that stabbed Uryu pulled up. But then he left. That nigga and man. then nigga, and so I'm a little confused because they're saying he has to be a human, but again, uh, Uriel's dad pulled up and was like, he must have felt my spiritual pressure, and that's why he left. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, I'm interested, and then so and then Ichigo called that card and that number was an execution or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he didn't call them. So I'm like, this is interesting. Like, what's about to happen because. He still don't have his soul reaper powers back. I'm guessing. Oof. Well, he don't. You about to find? Um, you about to find out? I was like, okay, what is the fuck is really going on right now? So, I'm interested. Like that was an, that piqued my interest enough. I'm like, okay, what's next? 
So, I mean, I am almost done. That, that was like episode like 346. I think I'm you on probably, like 346 yeah, you probably, at that or point, something. You probably yeah, like I'm 20 at, episodes left. Yeah. So, I was going to say, I'm, I'm right there. So, the, um, my intention is probably to try to go ahead and get that one done, hopefully this week. Um, but... Yeah, that that was interesting enough. I was like, okay, I really want to see. What and if you on. don't, it's completely fine. Um, no pressure, but hurry up. Um, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no pressure, but <laughs> no pressure, but come on now. Um, it's crazy. They all got jobs though. Like she was like, like when they was like, you talked to Chad. He was. They, she was like, well, you know, he'd be working his construction job a lot. I'm like, Nick, why is you working construction in high school? Like God damn! You see how big that nigga is. He yeah, needs. I mean, to be he needs to something. be doing something like that. But yes. I'm like, nigga. Imagine that nigga Chad, like, like working at Applebee's, like when I did. Like he's too big. He's too big to be in there. <laughs> you need to be lifting yeah. something heavy with your big ass. Um, <laughs> right. He needs to be yeah. like a tight end for the NFL or something. Like he's no, too big. No cap. That nigga big is bitch. He he about LeBron size. Uh, that nice. nigga easily He's, be like 6'8", 250, 245, 250. Now I got to look up how tall Chad is on... on uh, well, they're going to say he like 6'2". If he's 6'... Nah, man. He, let me see Chad. Bleach. He got to be taller than that. But, that, but you know, they be giving... They be coming up with random ass heights and shit for anime characters. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? I typed Chad uh, Beach instead of Chad Bleach. Uh, Chad Crime. Bleach height. Let me see. I hate that these niggas. Oh, okay. They, okay, I'm about to say they did in centimeters, but they did show me um, his actual height. All right, how, how tall you think he is? Final answer. Um, that nigga gotta be about six three. Six three. Four. Yeah. Six five and a half is what they got him. Okay. Says. Okay. And two hundred and forty seven pounds. What I say? I'm, I mean, yeah. I say I know I said six eight two, but I mean that nigga's solid. You could tell. You can tell. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my nigga Chad, my nigga Chad's a big boy. Um, okay. So, all right. Yeah. So, you 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 about twenty episodes out. Um, you did you did mention a very interesting part uh, with Urio getting cut down because I think if that part that nigga was like like skipping through the air and Urio was following that nigga. Yes, yeah. and, and he was like he disappeared, and next thing you know, that nigga was like slice that nigga, and then up. you just see. The- mm-hmm. I was like, who is this nigga? I was like, this nigga is fast and a bitch. And he is like, a human, by the way. He... So he is human. Because mm-hmm. I was wondering, I'm like, is he really human? Are y'all just thinking that he's human? I was like, because a human don't move like that. So Facts. this is, mm-hmm. this is going to be, and he creepy looking, look like Eisen to me. Uh, I can see that. I can see that a little bit. Yeah. yeah like, not like, like, but like I said, that like cold. Mm-hmm. They, you know, kind of, kind of blank face, don't show a lot of emotion, demeanor kind of thing. I was like, okay, we got another fucking creep. I'm just ready for you to get to this 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 plot twist, and I, I want to discuss the plot twist with you. It's gonna be very at the, at the very end, but yeah, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you to get to it. Yeah, you I'm, I'm you, you, it. I'm you, up. I you, you you will, you will not see. I, I will say you will not see this twist coming. So. um I'm, I, I, you have there's nothing alluding to this twist until it happens. So, okay. Oh, and, and Ichigo's dad is missing. Ishin is uh, gone. I guess. I, I mean, forgot I don't where know he what was. the fuck is going on with he, his ass. His, his, uh, yeah. He's. I think he's like in the Soul Society or something. But it, his, he, he has nothing to do with the storyline. So you don't. Even okay. Really, yeah, okay. 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 Well, I know. Oh, dude had asked Ichigo like, "Do you really know about your dad?" And when uh, he said something about. Kisuke too. He was like, "Do you really know Kisuke? Mm-hmm. Like, are you sure?" And I'm like, "Why is he questioning him about mm-hmm. niggas that you know his dad? Like, what do what don't we know? A little lost. Like, what am I missing? You you'll see. But it, yeah, all I'll say is you'll see. But it, it's nothing really heavy with Ishin and and Kisuke. It's more about some okay. other shit. Yeah, it's it's yeah. But you'll see. That's okay. not that's okay. not the twist I'm thinking about though. But yeah, I can't wait till you see this twist because uh, you can be like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm stressed already. Yeah, I'm, I'm stressed already. All right, well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you make it again another week. Um, I feel like we've done this for 50 weeks now. Uh, I know, but at least I'm I'm better. I'm way further along than I was. <laughs> no facts, you are. 
Yeah, I'll let you make it. Uh, all right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I did Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, which I one is a nice one on here that I've watched? Or I haven't finished it, but um, Rent a Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You, oh, you didn't finish it? Oh, no, I didn't. Man, that show that show gave me anxiety because oh lord, the drama. Man. It's funny because Smiles, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Smiles. He, I, I got on Twitter and he was saying that he was watching it. Cause I had said something about it, and then uh, Scuba Steve was like, "Yeah, it's really good." So I'm glad he's watching it. I'm glad you. Fin- I think you had texted me and told me you had finished it. I did finish. I finished it. it like in the span of two days. It's good. It was good. Th- so that's your that's your first uh, slice of life that you really finished, huh? I guess. I don't yeah. know. B Stars is considered slice of life. I think it is. I think B Stars is slice of life. Um, I think I don't. I don't really know what else it could be considered. Other than slice of life, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it is. But yeah, this is like the one, the first like legit. I think slice only slice of life. Like, there's no, I don't think there's any. It's like slice of life and romance. Um, the two right, comedy, kind yeah, of comedy, definitely comedy. Oh my god, that first episode. That the, the reason why I kept I kept binging that whole was because of the first episode. The first episode was wild, and I said mind blowing, wasn't it? I was like, bro, these niggas are serious. Like she. She told the nigga, she was like, um, yeah, I fell in love with someone else, so we got to break up. I was like, damn. Nigga, that nigga was in that bitch sick, boy. I was like, oh, that nigga was sick. she told the nigga she was in love with another nigga, and they been together? I was like, so you, you, you dirty bitch. You, you was looking at other <laughs> niggas while y'all was, bitch. you raggedy bitch. You was looking at other <laughs> niggas while y'all was together. Even though it was a month, you, you was, you was a hoe. Ooh. Yeah, yo, I'm telling you, because I'm t- when we first when it first came out, I was telling you, Mikey, I was like, this whole and and I actually like the art style and the animation, even though it's not like a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. It's I still, do like the, the art animation style. looks really good. That one girl has beautiful eyes. Um, the main girl. Oh, the uh, rented girlfriend. I yeah, can't think I can't think right of her now. name either. I don't know. I've been I binge that show so fast. I did, I never even called her name all the way. Um. But yeah, her, she has beautiful, beautiful eyes. They're beautifully drawn. Um, but all the like all the characters look really good on that show. I, yeah, I, well, yeah, for do. sure. But that nigga, um, I really got. Let me pull up their goddamn names, bro. So that nigga boy, that when they went to the hospital and they grandmas was kicking all that kind oh of stuff, God. and they was disappointed. You know, he ain't had no girl and shit. I'm like, damn. My they nigga they like fried that nigga. They was like, bro. They was like, "Ain't no way." Uh, what's his name? Got a girlfriend? I was like, "Damn, nigga, <laughs> yeah, I, boy!" I was hollering, <laughs> hollering. What's boy. his nigga's I was name, like, man? These Let me... niggas playing my nigga to the left. They boy. definitely played his ass, and I was. They was frying his ass up, and he was like, "Yeah, this is my girl." And they was like, and she was like, please. "So are y'all having sex?" And he was like, "Grandma." I was like, "Nigga, are you?" Yo, when I said, I was like, "Yo, they, they, this real life, like." Funny as fuck, Bree Bree. Like, <laughs> y'all, wow. Kazuya, okay. Yeah, Kazuya is his name. The Rena girlfriend's name is Chizuru. And then, uh, Mommy, that bitch. Um, that bitch is evil. Yeah. But they be he, making the blonde headed ones real evil. That, like Rachel. Oh, facts. The power of God. That dirty hoe. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> This is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fat bitch. <sighs> yeah, uh, fuck Rachel. Um, but yeah, no, nah, my, oh my god, yeah. So, so where did you stop at? Like, where did you, you remember, like, kind of, ha- were you halfway, or were you over halfway? I wasn't over halfway, I'm, we're at the beach. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, so I ain't gonna talk about it too much then, but I definitely invite you to finish that one, because that shit gets it. Th- th- how messy that show was is the shit that I feel like you really like. Uh, and see, that's why I told you, but you know, just like Scum Twitch and some of them other ones, when they get real, real messy, it make my anxiety go up. And I just, <laughs> like, Maybe I need to take a, I need to take a break because y'all got too much going on. That it's too much for me right now. And it's like Tyler Perry couldn't even come up with this. Oh shit. my god, that, <laughs> that shit was mad messy. Like, because the thing, the thing about this show is, is that, like they add more chicks to the fucking pot, like. Yeah, he had the ex. Yeah, he had to rent a girlfriend, but they add more chicks to his fucking mix. And he, I was getting frustrated because as a man, I was like, nigga, like, you could nip all this shit in the bud right now, but you keep fucking up. <laughs> like That nigga is. It was always getting in too deep, it seemed like. And I'm like, bro, just. 
first off, like I know I'm gonna get my bitch back. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. Like, I was like, yeah, nigga, you try to get your girl back. You you just did it, bro. You really got to go back. Well, nigga, her salty ass. Nigga rented the chick. You 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 ordered an escort. And basically, you 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 ordered your escort, and then on top of that, like you you tried to get your ex back that like dumped you for a nigga. Like another she actually nigga. she really didn't even like get another nigga. Like she was just saying that shit just to break up with your ass. I'm like you bitch. Like you could have just said I don't want to be with you no more. But she never had another nigga. Like but then when she seen this nigga was popping with his new escort, she won't want this nigga back. I you want like, him back. <sighs> That's what they do. These bitches ain't shit. Mm. Yeah. That's why I said, I know I'm going to get my bitch back. <laughs> <laughs> Put some, hey, yo. <laughs> Put a feed with future. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, I, I, I binge that whole shit between, I think, I think I got the episode 11 on Friday, and then I was basically ready to talk about a majority of it except the last episode. I think I finished the episode 12, which is the last episode on Saturday. But I was like, bro, what the fuck, man? I need to go ahead and finish that, too. I um, I still have it in my, my, uh, my watching, like I'm actually still watching it. So it wasn't one that I ended up putting on hold. I just... So I be getting, you know, watching, especially when we got through when spooky season started. I definitely kind of put down a lot of anime. So mm. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that because I'm glad you enjoyed it. I was hoping, I was surprised when you said you had picked it up. I was like, I, I, I told myself, thing. I was like, let me get into something that's not my normal bag. Like, let me let me watch some shit I wouldn't typically watch. It was on my to watch list, but most of that shit just sit there forever. So <laughs> I was like, eh. Let me watch this shit, cause I, I you know why? Cause um, I had it in there, and then I know Polo and Tail from Mike Chick Wife Food Wife Food shout out to, shout to them. They liked it a lot, and I was like, you know what? Let me watch this shit, and I'm happy that I did, cause I was like, bro, this is this is <laughs> truly a slice of life that I that I enjoyed, but I was mad frustrated with this show too as well. Did you watch a dub? Is it have a dub now? It does have a dub. And the dub actually completed on Saturday, so like. Literally, when I woke up on Saturday, the, the last episode was available. So, um, how the dub voices? Sound? They're not. It's not bad at all. Okay. I'm not. Yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. Like most of the time, it's shitty, but no, it wasn't bad. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. I mean, I haven't. I've been watching it when I was picking and watching it. it was, I was watching the sub, so I didn't know how the sub dubbed voices were going to be. So yeah, I randomly like I I was um I got me and Jen. Fuzzy's Tacos on Friday night and I was sitting there in the curbside like waiting for it and I was like let me put on the anime while I'm sitting here in this curbside waiting for this food to come out and I cut that shit on like literally the first four minutes of Rent a Girlfriend I was like bro what the fuck is going on man that shit bro, started off so heavy. I was out. like alright man that shit was funny shit I said oh this whole starting off with this chick breaking up with him off the rip like god damn nigga, I was like bro what the fuck <laughs> my nigga said like, yeah, yeah. And, oh, oh, what pissed me off is she, not all, she broke up with that nigga. Said I, I I broke up with you. I fell in love with somebody else. But then like he checked his Twitter and she had blocked that nigga. I was like, bro. Yeah, she was not like wasting no time. I was like, damn, what the fuck he do to her? Shit. Mommy, you are a ruthless asshole and you deserve nothing good in life. Um she trifling. No, she mad trifling. You should I can't wait to see episode twelve and finish the the ending. Um, I am ready to see it. But like I said, that's the my nigga was on some future shit though. I he didn't think that the girl would come back around, but like I said, I know I'm keeping <laughs> you know she bought that nigga. She was salty as fuck. She like she looked good and shit. Mm. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. I'm excited now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit was like that. That it was wildly entertaining. That was one of the. the most entertaining 12 episode shows I've seen. So, um, cause I'm just like, bro, I, I know I was this 20 year old nigga that was a simp at one point, but like, like get your shit together, man. Just, just nigga said no, I was a simp. I did. Yeah, we, no. We've all had, well, most of us have had a simp phase. You know, I definitely was a simp. You know, my, like when I was a freshman in, in college, Oh my God. Oh, I, I hate. I would probably hate myself if I went back and met that nigga, man. Um, <laughs> I was a nigga like at Oklahoma State. Like I, like I, I. Oh, what happened? 
Oh, okay. I'm trying to think what happened that made me real simpish that, that year. I think Fine. that me and this chick had broke up. Somebody that we, we went to high school with. But I was in college and we broke up. And I think I, I was walking around campus listening to like early, early Drake. That's how light-skinned and simpish I was back then. I'm disgusted with myself. Um, <laughs> Yo, good fucking bye <laughs> goodbye <laughs> like said, i was walking around campus listening to drake i was listening to fucking come mixtape drake just depressed oh oh boy Perhaps next. simping bro i'm glad we have i'll be trying to tell you that simping shit ain't you know mm, mm, mm. and now i'm the most uh toxic person in a relationship um but <laughs> toxic but boys toxic wholesome person in, in, in the house you can find so i am crying yeah no nah, but man i oh i hate 20 year old me i hate that nigga mm. Mm -mm. well at least you're 10 years removed from that facts because boy mm. yeah anyway the moral of the story is um Stop. these hoes ain't shit and um I know I'm gonna get my bitch back. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm gonna get my bitch back. Oh uh, no, nah. yeah, I, I did. I watched that shit, man. But that, that I'm we, so happy you watched you, it. Again, I, when you it. finish it, we are gonna have a real conversation about Renegade. Yes, we could do. A, uh, yes, we could do a whole discussion because yeah. I I'm really glad you watched it and that you liked it. I'm, I'm so happy. I was surprised. Myself. I said, I'm, I'm, I said, I'm like, you know what? It's the end of the year. Let me get into some shit that I wouldn't normally watch. I think like now, like I'm going to try to watch a lot of shit that I, I don't, I wouldn't normally start. So I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at my, like my plan to watch list and like looking at shit that I can get through quick and, and get like, get out of here quickly. Like I, I was, I was really considering watching banana fish. Um, Oh, oh boy, yes, you do. Yes, sub. <laughs> banana fish need to be next. Yes, yes, banana fish for sure. Um, what else did I? What else is on my to watch list that I wanted to watch? Um, I'm gonna tell Panda to tell you to make sure you watch banana fish. Speaking she of Panda, I did. Why I did start another show that I wouldn't normally start. I did uh, start High Q as well uh, oh, last night, and I texted. I was like, "Hey, Panda, just so you know, I'm starting High Q." She was mad happy. Um. So yeah, so I, I did watch that. That's some shit I wouldn't normally watch. Um, it, it's it's cool. It, it, it's a lot better. I I was in the mindset to watch Haikyuu this time than the first time I tried to watch it, but um, they start off like uh, basically this nigga waited three years before he got to actually play his first volleyball game. He's in middle school, and he played his first volleyball game, and he they, like their uh, their team is some trash, but he. <laughs> Uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Hinata. Hinata is a little bit on the shorter side, but he's mad athletic. Like this nigga got hops, and so even though like he's short, he can jump so high, and he and he's really athletic. But he just doesn't he doesn't have it all together yet because this is his first fucking game. And so the nigga that he was playing against on the other side, even though they he was getting smoked, the nigga that he was playing against was like, man, y'all need to lock this nigga down. But the rest of those teammates was like. We beating their ass, so we not about to put in our full effort in. We already whooping these niggas' ass. But um, so that's their la that's the last and only middle school game he had. So flash forward, they're freshmen the next year, and the nigga that he was going against on the other team now they're teammates. Like they both end up going to the same high school, and they automatically have beef because they like some ri on some rival type shit. So um, I think I only made it two episodes in, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep watching it this week, but. It, it, it was now the upperclassmen like had to like tell these niggas like okay it's gonna be three on three and if y'all niggas don't beat us then y'all probably not gonna be on the team type shit so so now they gotta work together to to be on the team for this for this high school and shit so it's it's an interesting concept so far two episodes in um but they was definitely they definitely was beefed out like they was they was going at it they they was they was in some beef and then they end up hitting the fucking principal in the head with a volleyball. And this nigga toupee flew off, and he was and he was heated. So, <laughs> nigga had the unit on. His unit flew off. I'm crying. And the whole fucking uh, unit on his head, man. Like they, <laughs> that nigga was mad as hell. So, yo, he told the team captain, he was like, "You better get these niggas together before I do." I'm at the watch. See, 
this is the thing about certain shows and not no shade to nobody. So I'm not trying to shade nobody, but sometimes it's easy for me to really want to watch a show or be more prone to watch a show after I talk to Mike. Mm. And that's just because of how me and Mike are mm-hmm. and the way we explain stuff. And I know that's something that people have told me, like I make things sound good when I'm talking about anime because mm-hmm. how we talk. You like, do. like you just said, like knock a nigga to pay off. He like, y'all better get these niggas before hey, I do. Not, they happened. don't have no goddamn thing. You know, and I'm like, okay, that's really interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand. Mm-hmm. If you approach me with something outside of assassination classroom <laughs> in that manner, I will definitely be, you know, very interested in the show. You, you, I still feel like you haven't given Assassination Classroom a fair shake, but I'm not mad at you, though, because it took me a while to... Assassination Classroom should have been like a 24-episode anime, but it was end up being like 50, so I can get why somebody would stop watching it, so... But um, if they if, if they had condensed it down to like 30... Probably 36 episodes, like three tw- uh, 12-episode seasons, it probably would have been perfect. Because a lot of them hoes was like mad, kind of friendly, but, but the ones that was heat, they was heat. So, but... It is what it is. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna push that. You know, I push. You know, I've been pu- pushing bleach on you forever. I'm not pushing no. Assassin's Classroom on you. If you don't like it, it's it's okay. <laughs> like I feel no way. <laughs> this yeah. is what it is. I just know you, and I know that the dark shit that happens in Assassin's Classroom, you would be interested in. But if you don't want to get to that point, I'm not mad at it. It's okay. <laughs> it's cool. That's fair. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I did. Yeah, I started High Q and um. It's very interesting. Now, I mind you, I've only talked about the two episodes in, so you know they they right. was playing in the first episode, and then they teammates in the second episode, and now they beefed out, but they got to work together type shit. So yeah, so um, we're I'll, I'll keep updating High Q, and um, I know a lot of our our people that we fuck with like really enjoy High Q. So mm-hmm. um, yeah. it's I've I've never I think I've seen one bad. Uh, I've seen one bad comment. About Q. It was from uh, I think it was the HBC anime HBCU anime page. They said they said that she was yeah, trash. Yeah, I think they said that. Yeah, but I think that's what it was. I think Keith too. Keith shit on it too, but Keith shit on a lot of stuff. So I always yeah, yeah. Keith, <laughs> I, was Keith, saying, Keith, I, I don't be listening to Keith when he shit on stuff because he he don't be liking a lot of stuff. But I ain't mad at that. Um, shout out to Keith. Um, yes. No, nah, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep y'all updated on High i I'm gonna keep watching this shit. So I, I, I'm, I'm kind of starting to fuck with a lot more sports anime now. Like th- this is definitely giving me the uh, Hero no Sora vibes. So um, we'll see if I keep watching shit. So I know I, I noticed some more sports shit I have on my list, like Kuroko's Basket. Um, what is it's, an, it's another one? I think I think Ace of Diamond, the, the baseball one, and. Um, have that and you know it's another one that i um mix mix was a, a one i had started it's a sports anime well i guess it's really considered sport a slice of life slice of life sports anime but it's basically like some uh it's like these two hey brothers i i dropped it a long time ago i was actually even reading the manga um but um they're they play baseball and it was just kind of about them like getting on the team and then going through like you know everything and i think the sister was in band and i can't even remember because like this was last year when i was watching mm. and also one out i had tried because they said that was like death note meets baseball and that's so a wild I, ass I watched mixture. like one episode it, huh that's a wild ass mixture right i get it's like a, it's almost i guess it is some type of psychological thriller slash sports and with baseball but, oh, that's crazy mm-hmm so I never, I think I watched one episode and I was like, I, that's one of those ones. I think if you watch a couple episodes and get the concept, I think I would have, you know, so that's still on my, um, on hold, but I, I honestly, the, the sports animes I've watched, like I told you, I did, uh, watch a couple episodes of a hero, no, uh, no Sora because Austin booby Austin mm-hmm. told me about it like either earlier this year, oh, this year has been so long. Maybe it was earlier this year. Maybe it came out in the winter. I definitely think um, you're like a hero no sort because like you have that basketball mind and you you know everything like all the terms about basketball and shit like that. But like somebody like they explain it so well that it's like damn like I, I know I know basketball type shit like all the technical shit. So yeah, I, I think I definitely think you're like and they, and they and it's like some real shit like they be cussing like they they be talking shit to each other. 
it, it, it's a real it's very realistic it's not like one of those super powered sports animes where these niggas be fucking um you know flash step into the fucking uh a hoop and shit so <laughs> no nah. nah, it, it, it's, it's mad realistic like all these niggas are good at a certain thing and, and they finally tr- try to make the shit work these niggas still haven't got a win yet from where i'm at but <laughs> but they get so fucking close every time like it, 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 it's so it's wildly entertaining so when they get their first win I'm, I'm gonna be so happy for them because they, they they deserve <laughs> this win <laughs> they've been working for it facts they definitely been working for this win that they need it. They need it bad. But yeah. Um, last thing I watched though was this show I randomly came across this past week. Um, I think I came the way I came across of it was um Black Girls Anime, shout out to her. Um, she she tw- she posted this um IG picture of this anime that has a movie called BIM. And um it's called BIM, like B E M BIM. And, um, there's a movie that they dropped like late October, um, on Funimation, I think. And so what I didn't realize is what the movie was like the season two of an anime. So I started watching the season one, which came out in 2019 and it's a legit horror. So it's basically about this, uh, these humanoid monsters. One is called Bim, one is called Bello and one's called Bella. And basically they're three like super powered human humanoid monsters and their their goal is to become human um and by becoming they their goal is basically to save humans in order to become human one day and so they'll go around and start in the city like this basically like the slums is to start saving people from other monsters like other monsters that mean to fuck shit up and it, it's it's mad horror like the the monsters that they go against and and the humans that they go against like basically the theme of the show is like these humans are really the fucking monsters but uh more so than bim bello and bella type shit so the humans be doing more fucked up shit than a monster ever could of course yeah so but um it, it looks really good the the the, sh- the season one itself was was cool it was like okay to me it was like probably 7.5 out of 10 but the movie that i just saw oh my god the movie was really good um i enjoyed the hell out of that so it's, it's an hour and a half and it's basically it, it takes part two years after the events of the anime season one so um the season one of the anime is i think it's dubbed and subbed on funimation and the movie is only subbed on funimation as well but the if you if you fuck with the season one you'll really really fuck with the movie the movie was good as fuck so um, really i just put it on my want to watch list yeah the movie and the show very very horror themed uh there's not really like any kind of there's really no kind of comedy in that hoe it's it's real serious and and thriller and horror and and yeah it's it's crazy so um you gotta see what these these three humanoid monsters like the bim is like the main one he's like an older older dude he's kind of like the, the leader of them um bella is like this teenage girl but she's also a monster as well so she goes to high school and interacts with high school girls and shit like that and then bello's a little bit younger and he basically just hangs out with the arcade with his friends and they all end up getting involved in some fuck shit like just dealing with the people that they deal with on a regular basis and they have to like save people and shit so but okay. um yeah i i invite anybody that that wants a, a good little spooky you know horror anime to watch uh go watch bim um season one and then go watch bim the movie which is uh called becoming human um also that's a season two so i'm definitely okay say this they are like i said damn i want to watch yeah got it on there yeah uh, yeah i i think you would fuck with it Nate, for real because yeah these, they 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 definitely make, get you attached attached to these characters and everything. So, bet especially in the movie, the movie man. Mm. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think I think that's all I got for you. I don't want to go too far into Bim because I I want Nate to watch it and everything. So, um, okay, okay. sorry, I got a bad text message. Bet. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, yeah. Let me go back to the doc here. So yeah, I think yeah, I covered everything. Uh, yeah, we can do as as blender makers. Um, there's <laughs> we <laughs> there's one uh, question in the Patreon I thought that was funny as hell, and um, I think it was addressed to me specifically. Let me see. <laughs> Hi. Let me find it. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ask Blend to me. Okay. So Matt Harp asked uh, asked me this. He's like, Mike, for fifty million dollars right now, would you fight old man Mike Tyson? A fifty mil? Fifty mil. I fight that nigga. The fuck. The so, fifty mil. So here, so here's here's I, I I need to know the details of this fight because yes, it's fifty million, but yes, I could die. So yeah, um, this is true. So how long is this fight gonna be? Um, because if we're going like you know, let's say three five minute rounds, I'll take my chances with three five minute rounds. I will run the entire time. Um. <laughs> The entire time. No cap, though. I, That's I will literally. Do, I, mean, around I will around. study Floyd Mayweather and make sure I do everything in my power not to get hit directly in my face. Um, but if it's we're talking about just like like all the way twelve rounds, like nah, I'm cool. He's too. He's too strong. <laughs> no, really, no. Mm. But but most likely, like if, if if you give me decent enough terms where I can come out alive, then I'll, I'll take that for fifty mil. Because worst case scenario, I have a little bit of brain damage, but like, but like Michaela will be rich after that, so she you know she won't need nothing. I'll sign it all to Michaela, so Jen don't get anything. Um, Bye. Pff, all right, well, <laughs> trust fund. Um, this thing is stupid. <laughs> 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 Dumb, put this in my will um I make i make sure i have all the paperwork done before like if i die give all this shit to the baby when she turns 18 um <laughs> no nah, i'm um, crying <laughs> nah, i give jen i'll give jen like a thousand she'll be okay um like <laughs> <laughs> said a thousand i give her a grand she can she can she, she can go get her something nice with a grand um no, nah. but uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I need Matt. I need the terms of the fight because, like, I really need to know if I can actually make it out alive. Fifty million, I, I'll fight ma majority of niggas in the world for fifty million, but I need to know that I'll be able to live after it. So that's true. Yeah, Dre. Dre also he fixed the question. He was like, um, <laughs> he's like, will you let uh, will you fight old man, old man Mike Tyson? Uh, so yes, your family is set for life. I was like, basically, yeah. Like, yeah. If if I can't make it, they'll they'll definitely be set. But I'll definitely, right. I'm definitely, I'm definitely running majority of the match. I'm not throwing any punches. Like that's not happening because that's gonna be an easy time for him to punch me. That is so. <clears throat> yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I I need that. Uh, all right, let me. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought that was funny. That, that that was a random ass question, but I like I like it when we get questions that like aren't like just straight necessarily anime, just straight anime. anime related. Yeah, it can. Yeah, I like this scenario, but I need to I need to survive. Uh, all right, let me see. Let me see. Sinead, this is actually for you. Um, uh, nine minus two underscore on IG. He said, Sinead, who are your favorite characters in Reborn?" So. Whew. My favorite characters in Reborn, um, definitely Reborn himself. Reborn, okay. Um, I think one of my other favorite characters. First of all, what I will say, all the characters are are pretty well written. Everybody we've been introduced to, um, they've played a significant role and they've kept their role. So I like that. Um, Reborn. I guess I could, well, technically he's part of the Vongola family. Um, Lambo, I fucking love Lambo, little ass. He is the cute, he is so bad, but he is so funny. He is such a funny ass character. Um, I, Lambo and adult Lambo. And I love Ippin and adult Ippin. Ippin is so cute, bro. Like, if you look, I gotta show you what she looked like. She got this big ass head, but so they have this thing called the 10 year bazooka mm -hmm. 
And Lambo, he's five. Him and Ipin, they're five years old. And for some reason, I forgot what part, what family um, Lambo is in. But he's still part of the Vongola family. He was designated part of the Vongola family as a guardian. But this bazooka, he keeps it in his hair. So his hair, it looks like a fro. And he keeps shit in his in his fro. Like he keeps candy, his rent, all kind of stuff. And when he get mad, he'll pull the bazooka out and get in it. And people can get in it, which is that's how the future arc started mm. with everybody else, because they ended up going through the time travel. Usually it pulls you back to the print. So like when Lambo or Ipin goes into the 10 year bazooka their 10 year older self comes out for mm -hmm. like 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. And then it wears off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it been, she turned out, uh, totally different than what I thought she was going to be. Uh, <laughs> her head wouldn't be no more adult. It been, but I'm about to show you, bro. She is so motherfucking fun. It's just funny how big her head is. She is the cutest little thing. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, Text it to me. Oh, I see it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, she is so cute, though. She is so I'm cute. Dead. And as an Why adult, she like that? She, her head, she grew into her head. I was like, how the fuck that happened? But I would definitely say it's, it's Reborn, Lambo and Ippin. And um, I mean, I would really like, I now that I'm in this future arc, I actually do like all of them as adults because at some point in the in this arc, we've actually gotten a glimpse of some of them as oh, I like Hibari too. Hibari pretty much stayed the same from a kid to an adult, but we got to get a taste of them as mature, grown ass people who have been part of the mafia and had to you know go through some things. And so I, I, I honestly, as a whole, I actually like all of them as adults to the part where the ones that we did get to see as adults mm. but um reborn lambo and Ethan, and um like i said hibari them, them my favorite characters reborn is definitely my favorite character okay yeah. then nine minus two also asked um a nine minus two underscore he said, uh, Mike, who do you think would be the better MC in each other, in the other's universe, Ichigo or Yusuke? So I thought about this, and I think that Ichigo would fare better in Yusuke's universe versus Yusuke in Ichigo's universe. Soul Society. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I think Ichigo can hold his own more in like the demon world and, and all yeah. that good stuff. So, yeah, especially he. He has a hollow in him, which is basically a demon. So he definitely, right. he definitely can. I think he'll be fine a lot better in that universe, fighting wise, character wise, all of that stuff. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how my boy Yusuke will hold up uh, in in the Soul Society and Wake of Mundo and all that shit. I'm not sure about that one. I think he'll be fine. I don't think he would get his ass beat, but I just don't know how he'll hold up. Yeah. Good question though, but yeah, I think yeah, I think Yusuke. I mean, I think Ichigo will be a lot better in uh in Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, Ben, where you been? Where underscore you been? Asked. Uh, he just asked me how I was doing, and he said, "Nay, how are you doing?" He just basically asked how we we doing. I'm straight. Doing good. Holding up. Can't here. complain too much. Appreciate you being. Here. Same. Yeah, thanks for asking and checking on us. Yeah, we, How we, nice. We good, bro. You know, we 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 not rich like you, and we not you know living, you know living lavish in our mansion in 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 uh in redacted. But you know, um, we we we, we, we doing we doing what we can. You know what what we got. So right, right, right. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. let me see, let me see. Urban Sama asks, "Who's the better villain, Griffith or Merrim?" I uh, I think Griffith is from Berserk. Let me actually look that up. I have not. I've seen one episode of Berserk and I hated it. So let me see. Griffith anime. Mm. What anime is Griffith from? Berserk. Yep, it is Berserk. Yep. Oh, good. Yeah, I haven't seen anything Berserk, so I, I honestly don't know what to tell you on that one. Um, so I'm gonna have right. to go with Meruem. Aka diet sale, um, 
But yeah, I, yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't have nothing. I don't have anything else to tell you. I don't know shit about Griffith. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see here. Ignoring cautious question. Um, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, I don't know how to say this guy's name. K R O K K four J, whatever that stands for. He yeah, he said, "What anime slash cartoon crossover needs to happen?" He says, "I choose Danny Phantom and Bleach, which I think would be interesting." Um, same, pretty much same thing. Soul Reaper, Phantom, same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what what other cartoon anime crossover. Um, I think you know it'd be funny. It would it would be some. Um, this would be interesting. Jimmy Neutron and uh, Doctor Stone. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. I'm not mad at that one. Johnny Bravo and Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga be get his motherfucking ass handed to him. Be getting slapped up still. He not shit. getting. He, he not getting. <laughs> not no getting no play. Mm -mm. First yes. But he if he rent him a chick, he's good though. Did he even have a job in? No, I think he lived with his mom. How old was Johnny Bravo? I think Johnny lived with his mom's, and I'm and I. He he was probably twenty something. He'd be broke as fuck trying to buy a girl. <laughs> I, I I think that he would be so bad that they would um the service or the site whoever they go through would probably say that he wasn't allowed to rent no more <laughs> girlfriends because he was getting on their nerves so much. Oh fucking did. He he, he he fucking uh <laughs> he violated the terms and agreements of Yes, <laughs> he violated the terms and agreements. They canceled his shit. Oh, he was no, getting the random no. on girls. Yeah. Cause you know he be doing too motherfucking much. You gotta be a piece of shit to not be able to get an escort. I mean he was annoying. So that's why he y'all know Johnny Bravo was super fucking annoying. Mm. Facts. Yeah, but I, I need to see them for the, for the chaos that would ensue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, same que same guy asked us. Uh, he actually asked us three questions. Um, second question, he said, "What are your thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen this uh, this far? Who's your favorite character?" I think we talk about Jujutsu Kaisen and our thoughts on that a lot. Uh, we both love it. Um, Nay, who's your favorite character? Um, Satoru. I about to say or Sotu, Sotoru. Sotoru. I about to say yeah, I think it's both Satoru for both of us. Yeah, especially and I didn't even watch this past episode, seen his, but just everybody's yeah. character. Yeah, he he's that nigga. That's that's all we'll say. But I ain't gonna lie, I do like Sakuna though. I do like Sakuna as well. Um, he yeah, he wasn't in this past episode, but yeah, I do fuck with Sakuna as well. Um, I think. I think we're gonna get a good twist with him too, but I don't know that anything. Yeah. I don't know shit about shit, so don't take my word for that. But yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, same guy asked his last question for him. He said, Have you guys heard of uh talentless Nana? So I literally I hadn't until until when we were talking about uh BIM. When you were talking about BIM, I went to um of course, I went to my Annie list and on the currently trending talent list, Nana, 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 whatever I guess, um, is on here. So I say it's fall 2020, 13 episodes. It says drama, horror, psychological, supernatural thriller. So, you know, that's right up my alley. So I'm read the um, synopsis. I'm about to say, please read that. <laughs> Because I think I'm going to watch. I think it's going to be something I'm going to have to watch. It said, it is the year 20XX. Earth has been uh, assaulted by monsters known as the enemy of humanity. In order to deal with this threat, special schools compromised the teenagers with extraordinary abilities performed. These people who came to be known as the talented have abilities that defy the rules of reality. Among these superpowered individuals was an outlier, someone who was sent to one of these schools despite having no innate special abilities whatsoever. This is the story of our protagonist who attempts to defeat the enemies of humanity through the use of intelligence and manipulation. Interesting. Yeah, so and it's a nigga on here that look like Uryu. Uh. Mm. So, uh, oh yeah, like how he looks. I like silver hair characters. I mean, they kind of have on 
Uh, okay, so I can see the school thing. So I, I, it's interesting enough. I think it piqued my interest enough to see where this goes. So female main character. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see and the Uriu. I, I see who you're talking about. Jin Tachibana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see him. Yeah. They kind of give me my hero vibe. I, I, was, I think it's the unit. Yeah, I was just about to say that. And this this shit definitely feel like my hero. Looking at these uh, characters on here. Yes, yes. So um, I wonder if it's the same studio. I might actually start Bridge. fucking with this. Let me see. October four. So yeah, it's not, it's not even completed yet. Mm mm. Nope. It just did a uh, episode. Episode. Well, episode Bridge. eight is ear, di- Never heard of studio airing Bridge. this week. So, um, definitely one that I have on my want to watch list. I might try to, you know, see what that's about. Cause that's definitely, those categories are definitely things that I like. So. Yeah. Let me add this shit to my shit right now. Why is this shit not linked to my. It's been tripping. Oh, I was going to say, man. It's yeah. This shit, this shit cutting up a little bit, but yeah. Um. Thank you for for that question. Yeah, I I I think I saw the name, but it sounded like some shit that I didn't care about, so I never really right. looked into it. But right. I was surprised that it's horror, psychological, supernatural, and thriller. Like that's 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 a good crop of genre that you got, that you got all together in here. So look. yeah. So yeah, I just added that to my uh, plan to watch list. So and that shit is trending. So that's 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 dope. That's good. Oh, bro, you know what I, else I forgot to say? I uh, yeah. kind of started. I just watched the episode, and I was like, okay, I might actually watch this. What? Um, the Disastrous Life of Saki K. Oh, that's Kasha's and Shayla's show. Uh, yeah, and I was say show. Kasha and, and Shayla, I think they liked it, but I, that was when I actually picked up uh, that's on watched the episode or two, and I was like, okay, this ain't bad. And I'm like... You need to watch Mom Psycho if you're going to watch a psychic show. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to watch Mom... You'll love um, Mob's fucking teacher. Uh, I can't remember that nigga's name, but that nigga's funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is Mob's teacher's name? Mob Psycho. Don't be slow. Okay. Uh, what's that nigga's name? Uh, Reagan. Reagan. Reagan is fucking hilarious. Uh, he might be the funniest character in all of anime to me. Um... Yeah, that nigga's. <laughs> when I tell you he's the uh, scam, he's a he's like the teacher, but he's like basically a scammer. Like that nigga's funny. Uh, not a scammer. Bro. He's definitely he's definitely the Joanne the scammer of fucking teachers in anime. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Reagan is fucking hilarious. Uh, that's all I'll say on that. The, yeah, I think yeah. Uh, please watch Mob Psycho One Hundred. Um, uh, okay, and back to last anime. Um, Scoop Steve, shout out to Scoop Steve. He said, "Anime that you didn't expect to like, but you enjoyed." Um, recent memory, Rent a Girlfriend might be that one. I'm gonna say that's probably yours. Rent a Girlfriend. Let me go through, um, let me go to. Let me go through my completed list and see what I didn't think I was gonna watch that. Uh, that I'm enjoying. Let me see. I did think I was gonna enjoy Assassination Classroom, but I did. There's one. Jojo's. Um, mm-hmm. Jojo's for, for sure. Big facts on Jojo's. Um, let me see. Uh, erased might be one. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I thought that I wasn't going to enjoy it, but I just didn't have high expectations for Erased, and it, and it blew past my expectations. Expectations. That yeah. makes sense. Um, boo, 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 I really want to say, say, say... I would say maybe for me, Banana Fish was one. Banana like fish. I kind of was like, mm, I'll just try it. Everybody says it's all right, but we'll see. Made in the Abyss. Uh-huh. Shout out to Mike Check Wife. Oh, Wife. yeah. Made in Abyss was definitely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Parasite. No, I definitely thought that I would enjoy that. Um, we're in a girlfriend, Cersei Yeager, Soul Eater. Oh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I definitely enjoyed that. I didn't think I would. Um, ooh, please get seven deadly sins on my face. 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that, those are the ones for me for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, rent a girlfriend in recent memory. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did, but Ma, I tell you, those first four or five minutes of the episode, I was like, bro, <laughs> what is this show? Boy, <laughs> boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, shit, was that all of them? Yeah, I think that was all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so shout out to everybody that asked, uh, gave us Ask Blenheim questions and everything. Um, if y'all see me $50 million richer, just know Tyson didn't get me. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see here. What we got left? What we got left? Um, anime news that's relevant. Let me pull that up real quick. I guess this is relevant. So, official website for Seven Daily Sins, Anger's Judgment, uh, was announced. So, season four is scheduled to premiere January 6th, 2021. So, I actually noticed, Nay, a lot of shit is going to drop that first week of January. So, that first episode that we have back coming back it's is going to be, be fire. It's going to be crazy. Like, we got a lot of shit that's coming out that first week. Um, I don't particularly care um, so much about Seven Daily Sins is coming out, but I know other people do. Um, especially after this bullshit as that, as long as they animate it correctly, I'll be fine. But if it looks like the bullshit that they put on display in this last, um, season, then I will be thoroughly disgusted and, um, I will full, full on shit on it. So, oh, this next part. So yeah, that was that. Um, they, they did cast the, uh, dub voices for Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, which I think is going to drop like within the next week or so. The uh, no, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen anime dub will premiere on November twentieth. Yeah, so four days from now. Um, and so I did want to tell you some people that I thought. Let me see. Uh, where's where's his name at? Adam MacArthur is going to be um, Yuji, and I remember looking up where he was in, but I can't remember uh, where it is. Where's his shit at? He he has some some non anime uh, voice roles. Oh, Zeno Robinson is gonna be Yusuke Yosuya, um, in uh, in Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, Zeno Robinson's a black black man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he he's a, he's in a he's in a bunch of shit. Uh, I think for sh I think it's Demon Slayer. He, I mean, yeah, is it Demon Slayer? Yeah, Demon Slayer. He's in. Um, oh, so he's in a bunch of shit too. Uh. Oh, he is in Demon Slayer. Yeah, he's the the angry dude. Um, <laughs> oh, he was in uh, Cannon Busters. He was in Carolyn Tuesday. He, yeah, Demon Slayer. He was in Fire Force. Oh, he, Olga Montgomery in Fire Force, um, who's very popular this year. Um, he had like three non really relevant roles in JoJo's uh, Golden Wind. Um, Misfit of a Demon King, Mob Psycho. Zena Robinson has a fucking uh resume. Nice ass, <laughs> nice ass resume. Nice ass resume. Uh, yeah. So shout out to Zeno Zeno Robinson. Um, let me see. Robbie Damond. Let me see what the fuck is he in. Moomin was he Moomin Rider? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, I just thought that was interesting that they that they came out the dubcast for. Uh, for Jujutsu Kaisen, so it's gonna drop this week. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about watching the dub. The show's so good that I don't care to ever watch. Right, the dub. even have to hear the. But yeah, I just thought it was relevant for the people that's not watching it. Uh, subbed, whatever. Um, it's coming soon. So episode one of the dub will be dropping. Was that Wednesday? What day is the twentieth? Oh, yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. Thursdays, Fridays, mm -hmm. something. Oh no, tw Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday, Friday. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, I just got some anime news in, like literally that just like dropped an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So Kishimoto's taking over as the writer of the Boruto manga. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Kishi's Kishi's taking my, uh, Boruto over. Too late for me, my guy. I guess his official uh, Twitter account revealed it. 
They said oh, this the manga, uh, the Boruto manga story, right? This is from AnimeNewsNetwork.com, but uh, Kodachi will retire from the manga, and Kishimoto himself will take over as story writer. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it, it, so. Boruto, it's just getting too late for me, my guy. I don't know if I'm ever coming <laughs> back to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kishimoto ain't gonna do nothing but fuck over the female characters in um in in Boruto. So, oh yeah, the uh, Demon Slayer uh, train movie made twenty three point three billion yen. In the first month. Wow. Jesus Christ. Talk about a fucking turnover. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, these niggas made hella money off that movie. God damn. 23.3 billion yen. I don't know how, what, how yen equates to dollars, but anything you, anytime you can say 23.3 billion. Billion yeah, anything a is a lot, of, a lot of money. But if it's like pesos where it's like, that's like 23,000, then I would be upset. They life. fucked us over in Cancun when we went when I was younger. They de- we we did not we didn't know how to equate that shit to American money and they definitely charged us like ten dollars for a bus ride. Oh, it's some hoes. Yeah, they definitely got they us. They definitely got us in Cancun. They knew we were some fucking gringos and they knew they they can get over on us, so um but yeah, that's <laughs> that's all I got, man. Um we got any shout outs, uh well, we already did shout outs, really. We got anything announced? Yeah. Not really. Um, nothing else to announce. Like Mikey said, this is episode 98, so we really only got two more. Two um, more, and this time skip will commence. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, speaking of that, I need to pick back Black Clover back up. I might do that during the break. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I was going to say, when we go on our uh, our hiatus, I think I might pick Black Clover back up, because I'm about 12 episodes, I think. Oh, mind. speaking of the 100, uh, Dre, Dre said he's coming to to watch our three uh, our 100th episode, so him and Rochelle are driving up. up. Facts. I'm not going to remember it. So When I get this Japanese whiskey, I can't wait. Speaking of Japanese whiskey, this isn't about Japanese whiskey, but oh, okay. I went to the liquor store the other night okay. and there was this like Canadian. So they were having a sale. It was like two for 30 for this. Uh, it, I forgot. It's called Canadian something, but it's very, it's like a, it's a whiskey liqueur. Kind of, it had like a what? liqueur. For, nigga. Chad, Chad was like, they put him on his ass. So they had peach, Chad, we- apple, boy. They had regular peach, apple, and vanilla. And I actually, I got the apple. Got the, he got the regular one. And half the half his bottle gone. I know that shit wasn't that good. He said it was. So he, it, it wasn't crown, but it was still a nice little. Because like, we, we got to try it at the liquor store. That's y'all the only reason I got it. crown flavored syrup. And y'all was getting drunk, getting syrup wasted. Well, I didn't. We didn't get well. No, he drank like half the bottle yesterday. So I'm still upset with Chad for getting that fucking um that sugary ass hookah that he got that one time. I can't trust Chad. I had to. I'd have to experience I am it for so myself. Dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd have to. I had to experience it for myself because I, I I can't I can't fathom a a Canadian whiskey liqueur being amazing. So he didn't say it was amazing. He just said it was pretty, you know, for the price and what it was. Now I thought I thought it was decent. I was like, it's it's cool. I was like, but it was two for thirty. You can't even two bottles for thirty dollars. Like, well, come on. Bro. It so. feels two for thirty. It's two for thirty for a reason. But I'm li- <laughs> crying. I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all. Uh, let have it. it. Let us have it. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna see what this Japanese whiskey about though. Yes, I'm ready, bro. So. We'll talk later, but I, I can't wait for this 100th episode. I'm so ready to... This is going to be lit. Like, I'm excited. December 4th. Yes, sir. I guess we could tell them that. Yeah, so... so uh, Let me see. This episode is going to drop on... What's that, Monday? Yeah, the 16th, mm-hmm. yeah. So, 16th is when this episode is going to drop. And um, then 99 is going to be on uh, the 23rd. And then, so that week of the 30th... We're not recording. No, 
Yes. No. We're not recording next Friday. Yeah. So, wait. No. Is it next Friday? We're not recording. That's because that's the twenty seventh. That the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So we're recording on the twentieth, and then so that so you they'll get one episode on the twenty third, and then so after that, the that Monday there's no not gonna be an episode on November the thirtieth. Yeah. Because we're not recording that day, and then we'll record on the fourth, which will be the last episode of the year. Will be on de- December the seventh. Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. So. Get yeah. So yeah. We can go back to the drawing board. We can get 2021 set up. Facts, facts, facts. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much announcement wise. Everything we got. Do we want to recommend? I, I guess I recommend anybody to watch either. If you want some horror, re- watch uh Bim. If you want some slice of life with some mess, some pure shenanigans pure watch watch rent a girlfriend because jesus christ uh these women these women are trash man oh my god not nate but everybody, all all. Ain't loyal, no, they ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my god yeah but, um, I what recommend this week you know what I'm, I'm gonna go back to one that we um all liked and we were really big on last year. I'm going to recommend The Rising of the Shield Hero. Oh, okay. It's just because I was going through my end list, and I was like, you know what, let me find something that we ain't really said nothing about. Um, Because I want to say something should be coming out early next year. I don't know if it's a season two or a movie. I think it is season two. Remember? Yeah, I I think it is season two. I think we talked about it before. Yeah, we did. It's been a while since we talked about it, because we probably talked about it as soon as the news dropped, but something's coming up with Rising here in the next couple months so that'll be my recommendation this week the rising of the shield hero yeah they just said yeah it said that it's set to air sometime in 2021 speaking of season two real quick they the fucking creator of blood of zeus teased that there would be a season two so fuck him um so bro i'm glad you brought that up finish it so first of all i finished it <laughs> let me tell you i had actually watched I think I only had like an episode left. Like yeah, I told only, you, I had watched episodes, like two eight episodes, or, eight or nine episodes. Yeah. I told you I had watched like two episodes. Nigga, I had watched like seven or eight. Like I had actually watched <laughs> the most of it. And I was like, I didn't even realize that I sat through that. I was doing other stuff mm-hmm. to obviously like get through it and not even motherfucking watch it. Yo, that shit was a two pack of <laughs> ass, bro. Like I don't give. A, it was people on Facebook really talking about. Oh, they whole live, they whole lit. I'm like, y'all don't watch anime <laughs> and y'all don't even really know n- much about Greek mythology because to me personally, <sighs> they, the storyline was lackluster. It was poo cheddar. The storyline was poo cheddar. Poo cheddar. Poo cheddar. Not even poo cheese, poo cheddar. Poo like that shit cheddar. was not good, bro. Like the animation was so choppy. They would have been better off just calling that a cartoon. I would have respected them more if they would have just said a Netflix cartoon. They definitely original. advertise the hoes of anime too. So they do, they do, and that's why I'm like, bro, that's not it. That is not it. The art style, like you said, I know you had mentioned you didn't like the art style when I when I went back and watched that last episode. And I think I went back and watched like the last two. I was like, I don't like the art style either. I knew it was something up, but the animation was so choppy, bro. Like I and like I said, I just think the storyline was mid as fuck. Like it was nothing really good. That hell was ass to me. Like they nobody can like I I'm shitting on it. Like I did not enjoy it at all. Like, and then he uh, died. Now I'm like, Are you talking about Zeus? Yeah, oh, nigga. You. Well, I, I I would hope that he, that's not the end of Zeus. Like that, uh, if they really killed him off, man. Like man, listen. Like no. that, bro. And that's what I'm saying here. I'm I'm like, bro, y'all. This was not. This was not okay. I guess I just this feel nigga like pulled they, lightning out of his ass. Uh, yeah. Yo, I this Sephiroth. I, I just, I just like they had some good things that going. Mm-hmm. They just didn't. They didn't go with it. Like they just, they, they fucked up. Like they, they had the potential to do a, a better with that show, and they didn't. Like I said, the animation was lackluster. It was choppy. Art style. I mean that that's opinion right there. When when with the art style, yeah. But the animation definitely was not good. Like that's that's a given, and this, like I said, the storyline was mid. 
I give that hoe like a three point seven. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to fucking yeah, see it, Netflix. Oh man, they be fucking up some shit, boy. And I know he wasn't acting like he was super proud of that shit. Talking about hitting, uh, teasing that a season two. They teasing that shit, bro. I, it, honestly, it probably got a lot of watches, but I, I don't. I feel like if they really look for what people said about it, they would hate. They they had to avoid that shit. Right. Well, I was just gonna say, it, like I said, I on on Facebook, Facebook, I literally seen like four or five people who's like, "Who watched Blood of Zeus? Is lit." And I like Greek mythology. I knew it was gonna be good. Yeah, I loved it. And I'm like, "What did you love about it?" Cap. <laughs> Big cap. Capping. Because I'm like, bro, what was what? Like, like I said, even with Greek mythology, I'm like. To me, they still didn't touch much. I mean, of course, it, the storyline, but I'm like, y'all didn't really do much with the Greek mythology. Okay, they used a lot of the shit was made up. Like Heron, he's he's a made up character. Huh? Heron is a made up character. He's like, right. yeah, he's not a real. Character. He's not a real child of Zeus. He's right. not a real demigod. Facts. So I'm like, there's certain things that just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like it. To, when you do Greek mythology, like it's just me personally. When I watch shows, like like I needed to be, you could just redo the the original story. You know what I'm saying? Like like you said, he wasn't even a real person. Like just they had the potential, and they just didn't tap. They didn't tap into it like they should have with what they did. They could have so gave us. I, I just you know, they could have gave us a Hercules story when they gave us mid Um Yeah, boy. And that's what he was. And when he was up in Olympus trying to uh, train and shit. Oh, that robot was beating like, his bitch was, ass. <laughs> beating his bitch ass up. I'm like, yo. Yeah. That shit was some. I, that was, to me, that's, I, I was saying that's, that's below mid. To Fuck. Mid is average. Fuck that right. Like, bare, ba- ba- that shit was booty butt. I'm sorry. Like, oh, man. Booty, I was mad though. hyped too, I did man. not enjoy that. Rochelle and Dre hated that whole too. I think. I think this. I think oh, this. Really? I think they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Most people so who watch anime, especially if they watch a lot of it, most of them didn't enjoy it. I was gonna say. I told you that. Uh, Worst Gen tweeted us. Oh, maybe I didn't. Worst Gen tweeted us. Mike check and of course themselves. Like, yeah, none of us like this shit. You right. None of us, people who who watch anime, and I'm not knocking because there are people who watch anime. That I think did enjoy it. The casuals. I just didn't. I did not enjoy the storyline. I didn't enjoy the animation. I, there was nothing enjoyable about it to me. I didn't enjoy the accent. I didn't enjoy <laughs> nothing. I didn't enjoy nothing about not that accent. show. Like I thought, the first five minutes was about as much as I, you know, I enjoyed. And after that, I'm like, all right, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Mid. Yeah, that shit was trash. But you know, if season two comes out, I, I, honestly, I don't know if I watch it or not. I, it depends on what my mental health is when the season two drops. So, <laughs> 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 no facts. <laughs> it really depends. Like, I really don't know if I'm gonna be in the mind space to to watch the shit. They 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 just have to. It, it would have to be better. Like, if it's not better, two episodes into season two, I'm not I'm not gonna continue watching it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give. I, I'm with you. I might give one or do, two episodes. Do we, 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 as bad as it was, do we give them a pass for the next season for them to to for them to make it better? The only way, bro, I'm telling you, Zeus gonna have to pop back up in the first ten, five, ten minutes in episode one for me to really be. He not. <laughs> he not. He not. Cause that shit right there. Then even when he went to Hades, when Sephiroth went to Hades, and I'm like. Oh my gosh, bro! Like, look at this fucking look at how mm-hmm. the underworld looks. That hell look like black clover animation. <laughs> just some, you know, the rocks are just boxes. Oh boy, not actual like shapes as like boulders flying. Like, like this, this is like whatever. I'm over them. Like, um, they, I swear, they I, season two better not fucking come out. Anytime so if that hoe comes out within the next six months, bro, I know that I would I'm just they rushing it. You see how they do Castlevania? You see how long we have to wait yeah. to get that quality, yeah, quality that we get out of that. This some that was some bullshit. <sighs> I don't give a fuck what nobody say. 
Yeah. Yeah, they overall Netflix just gotta do better and so uh, but they got map on the team. It really shouldn't be no reason for they shit not to be better. Moral of the story is uh fuck whoever made God of Zeus or Blood of Zeus or whatever the fuck this shit called. Um, <laughs> Blood of Mid. Fuck Hera. That's what it was. Fuck Hera. Um Fuck uh, Safari. What's that nigga name? Sephiram. Sephiram. And then I didn't like the auto tune shit they was doing with his voice. I don't know if you peeped it. Oh, like yeah, when he would yeah, talk, yeah. like it was like some. They, they had the little the the demon. demonic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm like that shit sound auto tune. Like you know, that this shit. is some bullshit. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Um, on that note, man, we're gonna get out of here. Wash your hands. Watch your ass. Watch anime, wear a mask, and fuck Blood of Zeus. Um. <laughs> just like. I'm not even screw screwing. Like, we just we just gotta go. <laughs> fuck Blood of Zeus. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good week, man. Bye, y'all. Peace. Become a part of the Saiyan Elite and subscribe to our podcast on Apple, Spotify, and SoundCloud.